CCMC chip plant. Uh, we've been talking a lot about chips, micro microprocessors. We've been talking a lot about the factories built to build the microprocessors, and the Chip Act was supposed to bring all these factories to the United States, and uh, and, and and that was a big push of the Biden administration. Of course, a, a bunch of Republicans supported it, and and everybody seems to be very proud of the success of the Chip Act. Well, uh, I've been saying over and over again that this is not going to go well that even if they build these plants, they don't have the personnel, uh, they, 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 uh, they don't have the personnel to run these plants, uh, that there's a huge labor shortage. Now, somebody yesterday uh, uh, put up a, a, a saying, this is, he said, this is nonsense. Of course, we have well-trained people. There's no labor shortage in the United States for people to work in chip plants. As often happens this morning, uh, this is the this is the uh, the headline of a story in the newspaper. Um, uh, Apple supplier TSMC delays start of Arizona chip factory. Why, you might ask? Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company will delay production of its new Arizona-based chip plant to 2025 due to a shortage of skilled labor. The company's chairman said on its second quarter earnings call Thursday. Sometimes I think these people listen to my show and they say, ooh, that's what we should say on the earnings call. TSMC's chairman said the company is working to send trained technicians from Taiwan to train local workers to help accelerate equipment installation. Now, this is interesting because this is not about running the plant. This is not labor, trained labor, who will actually work at the plant once it's open. Okay. We haven't even got there. Those problems are in our future because the plant will only open in 2025. But why is the plant being delayed? Because the equipment itself to install it, to literally, I don't know, bolt it into the ground, assemble it, do whatever is needed to actually put together some of this very sophisticated and this is, by the way, not the most sophisticated. Some of the sophisticated um, uh, 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 semiconductor manufacturing equipment, there's nobody in America who knows how to do that, how to put it together and install it. So the Taiwanese are going to have to send technicians from Taiwan to train people in the United States on how to do it, and that's going to delay the opening. This is just the beginning. There is a massive shortage of labor, primarily skilled labor, across the board, from people who can work in a, semicond in a semiconductor factory, who can install equipment, all the way to welders and construction workers. There is a massive shortage of labor in this country. And instead, of course, of focusing our, our, uh, focusing immigration policy on people who can get jobs here, Right now, there are 9.8 open positions, 9.8 million open positions, but it's a lot more than that. Those are the 9.8 that are advertised uh, under the, you know, in, in, in where companies know that they, they, there's limited availability. Imagine what we happen once those were filled, companies become more profitable, uh, jobs get done, work happens, and now you all of that creates more jobs. There are millions and millions and millions and millions of unfilled jobs in this country, and instead of focusing our immigration policy on that instead of really making the number one issue uh, today uh, education and how do we, how do we uh, fix our educational system so we have more high-skilled laborers instead of finding ways to incentivize and motivate all the people who don't work today, who are not working today, collecting welfare checks or just sitting in their mother's basement playing video games, how to get them to work no, I mean, we're much more interested in, in, in all these other issues that have... Uh, these are the issues that the campaign should be talking about. These are the issues that really have an impact. Instead, we want to build walls, want to ban trans, want to keep women at home if you're on the right. We, we, we want to shrink the labor market, not expand it. And no discussion of education. No, nada, zero.